Hello everyone, um, I apologise for the quality of the audio, hopefully you're actually able to understand me. Um, this is because I'm, I'm not at home, I'm um, been down uh, with hypersonic audio over the weekend, doing some new sound effects, which you'll probably hear, and they're probably much too loud. But uh, I did a quick vlog whilst I was in my car, no I wasn't in my car, I was in a car, uh, on my mobile phone. That didn't quite work as well as I'd hoped, so... Um, uh, I'll go over what I went in there. Um, I, I don't know why it's running so badly, by the way. It was okay before I started wraps up. Let me, uh, so, the plan ha is now that in the next few days, um, I'll be submitting what's known as the 1.1 pre-alpha patch into submission. And wow, the frame rate is really bad, isn't it? What there? Um, so the, it's the pre-alpha submission. Uh, what that contains is physics objects, conveyors, lasers, etc. Um, somebody asked me if I can make a waterfall with the uh, these blocks. The answer is probably no. Um, I can't, but I, I'm sure you can. Um, whoever you are, wonderful people. So, oh wow, the frame rate's really bad. I I I, I don't know why. Uh, I'm sorry. It was fine before I started recording. It really was. So. Well, here's my attempt at a, at a waterfall. Um, oh, I'll tell you what, I could turn the detail down. That's why I wrote things like that, isn't it? Right, no difference at all. So it's, it's the uh, it's fraps causing it, I'm afraid. Okay, so one of the things that people have asked for a lot is the ability to, uh, for these custom objects, which are cool. Let's look at a custom object I made earlier. It's as if I was prepared for this video. Uh, So as you are aware, you can uh, select the custom object, make sure, it's, make sure it's the active object in the workshop. Oh bugger, ignore the rainbows. They're uh, they're not they're not there. Just pretend you didn't see them. Um, so you can uh well, it's really hard to type at this frame rate. You can probably hear me typing as well. Can type so as you can see you can make the objects do stuff. However, if you don't have a keyboard currently, uh, that's no use to you. So, what I have added is the ability now. So if you're if you're in the world, you pause it. It will tell you you're not in a workshop. So uh, we'll grab uh, we'll grab that object there and we're going to the workshop. Now it tells me I don't have a custom block selected. So let's go select a custom block. Oh, well, those rainbows are very annoying. I do apologise. <laughs> So we'll select this one. Now you can go into the workshop, and as you can see, the object's there. And then you can set the behavior in the workshop. So this means you no longer need a uh, chat pad in order to um, set the detail. It, it's quicker on a chat pad. It's easier on a chat pad uh, or a keyboard. Uh, I, when I say chat pad, by the way, I do recommend you guys just buy a $3 USB keyboard. It, it, you know, they're so cheap. Um, so there we go. That's that's pretty much uh, the end of this video. I'm going to do another video in a second, like straight after, and, and let me know if you'd rather lots of long videos, no, a few long videos or lots of short videos. So this is just basically the fact that you can now create your custom box, including factories, doodads, lasers, conveyors, everything without using a keyboard. One dollar fifty. I found keyboards for online, by the way. One dollar. Uh, so yeah, that's it. And hopefully the next video will be 60 frames a second and not 8. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.